Hey everybody, first day of the week, first day of the month. Happy October 1st. Our Monday show is just behind us in the rearview mirror and everybody's focused on Wednesday night and the first presidential debate of Governor Romney and President Obama. So here are my humble thoughts on how Governor Romney can roll out the strongest in all of these debates. I know there's domestic policy and foreign policy, but just overall for the rest of October and in the five weeks, just barely five weeks before the election, here's some things I want Governor Romney to do and to say. Everybody's saying, oh, what does he have to do? What does he have to do to step it up? Here's the answer. Listen, focus, write it down, and go. Jobs, 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 absolutely. But phrase it in the following way. Say to the American people, I know this economy is hurting you. It's killing you. And it hurts me to see what effect this economic downturn has had on you. And I've been particularly pained to see this presidency not fix it, as President Obama said it would. I swear to you, I will do everything in my power to fix this economy, to create jobs, to enable small small business people. I'm not going to mock small business. I'm going to help small business. And I'm not going to kowtow to teachers unions. I'm going to create a free and open marketplace that lifts 100% of the American people. President Obama seems to be fixated on percentages, 14% of what I paid in taxes, 47% in that admittedly clumsy video that you caught me on. Okay, fine, but here's a percentage you can take to the bank, 100%. That's the percentage of Americans I care about. That's the percentage of Americans that are going to wake up in a healthier country the minute I'm inaugurated. Okay, then let's go to foreign policy. I will enact a strong, muscular foreign policy where Al-Qaeda knows that the free ride is over. They know the weak presidency is over. Over. They know that the grown-ups are back in charge. They're going to know from Iran and its nuclear ambitions to Al-Qaeda, which is obviously on the rise. Hello, we're going to shoot straight with the American people so that they know the Middle East is still a mess, and we're going to shoot straight in the Middle East to make sure that they know that there's an America that's trying to make it not be a mess with freedom and democracy and the opportunity for self-determination. Uh, number three, let's come back home. Again, Mitt Romney channeling this. Just go with me, Governor. Please somebody send a copy of this. Dignity. Let's talk about the dignity of the American people. There is no dignity in spending a lifetime on the public dole. I'm going to try to get people off of food stamps, off of welfare, and into the world of paycheck. Quite frankly, Newt Gingrich did a better job of this than anybody. Mitt probably doesn't need to say that. They co-opted. He can channel Newt and say that I want to get America. I want to show compassion by getting people off welfare and get us away from a president who seems to show compassion by keeping you on welfare for the rest of your life. Uh, that gets us kind of into an overall American worldview, and so let's spend some time on values. I, uh, the, uh, Governor Romney can say, look, not everybody's going to agree with me on these things, but I just want you to know what I'm going to do. I am pro-life. I believe in the sanctity of unborn life. I will I will elevate justices to the Supreme Court who will overturn Roe versus Wade. Not because I'm pro-life or you are, because anybody's pro-life or pro-choice, but because Roe versus Wade is unconstitutional. Will that lead to an abortion ban all over the 50 states? No. It'll mean every state will have its own abortion laws and that's what respects the Constitution, and I will elevate justices who will respect the Constitution. I will also respect the institution of marriage. Uh, I know that, that there's a, a part of liberty that says uh, uh, who you can marry and what you can do. I'm not going to have anybody knocking down church houses doors going boom, 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 and there are a couple of dudes getting married in there. That's none of my business. What is my business, what is the business of the law, is which marriages enjoy a unique and special legal definition, and I'm going to maintain that unique special legal definition for man woman marriage and fifth just to wrap it up I'm not going to lie to you. I'm not perfect. My presidency won't be perfect. And if I ever mess up, if I ever make a mistake, if I ever blow a call, especially one that winds up costing American lives, I will admit it and work day and night to fix it. I will not cover things up. I will not lie to you. You may not always be able to agree with me, but you will be able to trust me. There. How's that work? I don't know how you work all that into a, onto a debate stage, but if I'm Governor Romney, those are the kind of things I say. And I have a feeling if he says some of those things, uh, and I don't know what to think about these stupid polls these days, maybe they're fixed, maybe they're not, I don't care. He needs to run as if they're real. Run as if you're five points down. How about that? Because it is that urgent and this election is that important. So here comes debate night. We'll be talking about it, of course, extensively. I have a feeling the next one of these will be post-debate number one and we'll 
see what we all thought about that. So debate night is Wednesday night, October 3rd. In the meantime, be sure to catch every morning's Mark Davis show, 7 to 10 Central Time, right here on 660 AM The Answer. And check back here early and often for more stuff like this at 660amtheanswer.com.